my dudes, my guys, my freaking boys. We got the wagon all up on blocks. I'm finally, finally, finally can pull the downpipe out of it and fix the flex pipe that we busted up when we went and drove Skyline Drive with uh, Zell and Marcus. So it's not super crazy video, but I did want to talk about some like future stuff and stuff like that. Also shout out your Ellie for dropping her car off. This is what I'm working on this week. So um, this winter, well, we're starting to get into the beginning of the cold season, right? So a lot of car racing and stuff is done like that for the season. Uh, this is when my work gets the busiest. So I would say if you like watching the channel, kind of plan on things to slow down a little bit. Um, I do have some plans for stuff that I'd like to do, but work comes first. You know what I mean? Uh, YouTube does not pay me basically anything. So, <laughs> so I still got to work a lot. If you guys watched the Skyline Drive video, uh, this is what got us home. It definitely got us home, but it is not good. The, uh, let's see if I can set this down. You can see it's all busted up. <laughs> so it's good enough just to not make a ton of noise in the car basically, but we're gonna take it out, fix the down pipe, get all the stuff loaded back up. Got the down pipe out. Now you guys can actually see the fix for this. So if you're ever on a road trip, a bunch of stuff breaks. All you need for this is two of these clamps, some of this, some way to cut it, and a, uh, a sawzall to cut your bad chunk out. But I'm gonna go ahead and slide this off and start mocking up the stuff for the flex pipe. All right, so I got this guy right here. It's just a four inch flex. I think I had maybe a six inch one in there before. This one seems like it's really small. Uh, probably not a bad thing. Uh, the old one, I had a bigger one in there because I didn't have solid motor mounts, so it needed more like wiggle room, you know? Um, this one will hopefully work a lot better now that I have solid motor mounts in it. Uh, as you can see, I cut it very crooked, very, very crooked. So I'm gonna cut that straight, weld this one here, and then I'm gonna have to build something from here back because I did have to take out pipe on each end. I wasn't able to cut where I wanted to cut uh, just because, you know, we were doing that in a pinch. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna try to cut that straight and then we can go from there. Kind of what I was making this video for is I'm working, but uh, I wanted to talk about some of the stuff that I have kind of planned-ish. Um, YouTube's kind of just been dead lately for me. I'm not really 100% sure why but uh, it just has been. Um, it's kind of really demotivating to take a bunch of time and stuff like that and put into these videos and then not perform. <laughs> like I can do better with just shorts and stuff like that. But um, I have a couple things lined up. I'd like to work on my CRX some uh, this winter. That's kind of the main thing that I've been focusing on lately is starting to mess with the CRX again. So I'm getting everything lined up for that, kind of waiting for Black Friday at this this point currently. Um, we have a BMW that I'm gonna be working on. Uh, my friend Cam is gonna come up. He just K24 swapped his BMW Z4. So we're gonna be doing some intercooler piping and stuff like that on that car. Um, also this winter, I'm thinking about building like a low car limbo car, but like kind of just off the wall bonkers. I got a bunch of stupid ideas I think would be really fun to do. But let me know if there's any type of content that you guys would like to see, because lately the views haven't been looking real good, y'all. It's not been worth my time to do this at all. Um, so let me know what you guys think. It's kind of hard to film right now. I got my parents doing stuff and they keep dragging me off to help them and stuff like that. So, um, But what I was gonna say is kind of the game plan this winter uh, with the CRX is I'm gonna start doing like chassis work, like a cage and stuff like that. And then I wanna work on some bodywork stuff. And then hopefully I'll be able to paint it in the springtime is the goal with that thing. Um, I also talked to Four Piston at uh, World Cup Finals uh, or Imports versus Domestics, whatever you know it as. And uh, they're putting their Peacemaker Junior head on sale for Black Friday. So I'm gonna try to snag one of those for Black Friday. So I've been working a lot. That's why I haven't been doing much content stuff lately. I've just been busting my butt trying to get ready for that. I'm just gonna capitalize on Black Friday. I remember last Black Friday, all I thought to myself was, damn, I wish I had some money right now. So not not lacking this year. I promise you that. At least not trying to. Actively trying to make something happen here. But 
I kind of feel like uh, over the winter, if I can get the body work and chassis work done, then I can save up for motor stuff and then hopefully be able to build a motor in the summer or something. As for 350Z things at the current moment, I'm trying to debate if I not like want to take a year off, but like relax for a year from drifting so I can focus more on the CRX because I feel like I didn't get enough done on the CRX this year. Um, I do want to drift drifters over December uh, here in a couple weeks, but I think I'm only going to do a single day just because I'm trying to like save up. It's the holidays, you know, stuff like that, but kind of bummed me out because I was saving tires for DOD like all year. Well, not all year, but for DoryCon, I bought a bunch of tires, and uh, I was like, whatever I don't have here, I'll use at duty. Because some events at Summit Point, you don't need a roll cage for. This is one of the ones you need a roll cage for. And unfortunately, my car is a street car. <laughs> I don't have a cage in it. So I got to figure out something to do with that. I'm not, like... I'm in less of a hurry than I should be to cage that car. Like, I'm sure all you guys are like, just build a cage, it's fine. But I kind of like don't want to. Like, car has AC, car has radio, car has like everything. It's kind of a luxury automobile at this point compared to what I'm used to driving. Um, but I know <clears throat> at some point I'm gonna have to cage it. And that's part of the thing where it comes up again is like, you know, do I work on the CRX or do I work on the 350Z? So I bought the 350Z to not be a project, but then all the tracks out of all the people that are driving that I want to drive with, um, all the tracks that all the people I want to drive with that are like where they're driving at, you have to have a cage. So I'm kind of just like screwed. Kind of, kind of sucks, but it is what it is, you know. Uh, at some point, I'm gonna have to do a cage in that car. I just, like I said, I'm not in a hurry to do one. But I guess we're going to drift at least a day at DoD. If not, I might go to a swing set event this winter. And we're also going to be drifting at um, Maryland International Raceway, like right by my house. So even if I don't do DoD, you know, I can, I'll still have options over the winter. Also, this exhaust is filthy. Now, the beat and the element are both in pretty good shape. I don't really, there's not much else I need to do with those. However, I would like to go to um, Elements on the Dragon again this year. We missed last year. I think there's a drift event or something that same weekend. But I'd really like to go this year. Um, just kind of got to see how money works out. Like I said, if I start messing with the CRX again, CRX is really expensive. So I kind of just have to see what all I can afford to do while doing that. Um, the beat, I kind of have no plans with that thing. It, it works and it runs and drives. The AC works. Everything's hunky dory on it. Uh, there's nothing that I want to change or really do. Uh, I do have a timing belt water pump here. I don't know if I should do a video on that. Uh, is that something you guys would like to see? Let me know in the comments. Um, other than that, yeah. With the K Swap EM2, AKA the girlfriend's car, we need to do a transmission on that thing. Um, that was kind of a winter goal of mine. I'm just waiting for her to order a new clutch because she's got a big clutch in there. It doesn't need all that. It just needs like a like a stage one or something in it. Um, also have all the stuff to do power steering in that car and we can finally finish the AC in that thing and then it'll be actually complete. Um, the wagon kind of don't really have any plans for that thing. I'd really like to build a turbo manifold for it because the one that's on there now is made for like an EG and it doesn't fit and it's actively burning the hood. Um, I don't like, it should be a higher priority than it is. <laughs> Car just runs and drives. I hate tearing apart stuff that works. You know what I mean? So kind of don't really have any plans with that thing. Just let it burn the hood up. And then when it becomes a problem, then I'll address it. I had to wait for that thing to cool off before I can mess with it anymore. Um, for this limbo car thing, what I'm thinking is I'm just gonna like cut it up. Realistically, all these limbo cars have to do is drive around in a parking lot, right? So they don't have to be safe per se. She got to not fall apart, just be able to drive around in a circle. So I have a really good idea. I really want to cut a car up really bad and do some like super wild stuff to it. Um, I feel like if I can get my hands on an EK, that would be ideal because I know this chassis pretty well. I saw the motor race kit, so I'll put a motor race kit in it and stuff like that. Um, EK hatch would be super ideal. 
super super ideal um but we'll kind of see what we get you know um if you guys have a, a honda any honda really that you want to donate to help me make this limbo car hit me up let me know i would uh super appreciate it we can do some pretty cool stuff with it make some some pretty killer content i think um another idea that i've had for a while is i've been looking at these things called honda helixes it's called a cn250 is like the chassis code um it's basically just a 250 cc scooter i really want to get one of those and start like traveling on it um i know that sounds crazy but they go like 60 miles an hour so like kind of just pack them up and ride out uh if that's something you guys like see let me know um trying to come up with more ideas for content in the winter time it's for sure going to slow down you know what i mean uh, I'll work on the CRX when I can and I'll film what I can, but realistically that car is not getting any type of traction on YouTube at all. So I kind of don't really want to film it. Uh, I think that the content that I'm putting out is really informative, but I don't know. I think people just want to see like some hack together stuff, I guess, or finished products, you know? All right. This is where I need you guys in the comments. All right. Let me know what kind of content you like seeing on this channel. Um, and what kind of content you'd like to see in the future on this channel to really help me dictate, you know, what I want to do, what I want to film and stuff like that. You know, I have my own personal goals. I don't need to post all that stuff on here. You know what I mean? Um, I really like riding my bikes and stuff like that, but I'm not going to post that stuff on here if it's stuff that, you know, nobody wants to watch. So <clears throat> let me know down below what you guys think. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to weld this up and then we can slap her in the car. And I'm so excited to not have a leaking exhaust in this car. It's been leaking for like two years. <laughs> Just like that, basically an hour later, got the wastegate put back in, downpipes back on, everything looks all hunky-dory. I think at some point I'm going to have to modify the um, this hanger right here and try to get this stuff up a little bit higher. But for now, that'll work. We got other stuff to do. So let's set it down and start it up and see what it sounds like. dragging the exhaust out of the driveway but you know that's standard stuff for stuff like this so uh at some point i'm actually going to build a real downpipe i just have an all-wheel drive k24 swap in the garage for this thing so i keep not wanting to put time into it but realistically this single cam is never going to blow up so i gotta figure out what i want to do but i can't wait to hear this thing again all quiet all right my dudes we are back quiet wagon is back and I couldn't be more happy about it. Sleeper again. <laughs> you can like still hear the turbo, but when you drive it normal, the turbo's big quiet. Which, after driving it with a, not an open downpipe, but basically an open downpipe for like six hours, music to my ears. Oh man. Yeah, if you came up next to this thing, driving in traffic, you would have no idea, no clue. So, I do need to raise the exhaust up a little bit. I can hear it hit. I just, it's not a today problem. It's quiet for now. If I have to, I'll throw another thing on it, but <laughs> we're good for now. All right, if you guys have made it this far in the video, I super appreciate you guys. This is gonna be the end of this one, but we are doing a promotion with uh, Evil Energy. They do a lot of AN lines, fuel lines, um, they do like uh, the Vanging clamps, um, V-bands, all kinds of stuff. Uh, they sent us some stuff, so the next video we will be installing this stuff, hopefully on the CRX. Let's hope. If we can get this thing done this week, I'll go ahead and mess with the CRX next week. But for now, dude, we're out. I'll see y'all later. Peace.